Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be showing Fortnite. I had two configs to show you guys, one for linear, one for exponential. Seeing as we had got delayed a little bit, you, you know, had some trouble with YouTube copyrights and all. But, uh, yeah, we're going to make up for that, give you a config for each, exponential and linear. They're both really smooth and very adjustable. You can, you can use multiple different DPIs. You can change the sensitivity settings how you want and it should still be smooth if you're new here i've been showing a program that allows you to get aim assist on mouse and keyboard by emulating a controller so the program is called read wasd you can get it at readwasd.com it is a paid program but there is a free trial and you could try it before purchasing it again that's readwasd.com if you need help with setup all you have to do is come to my page Go to the playlist here, and there's a how to use Rewise playlist. The first video here will show you how to get your mouse and keyboard set up properly, and the other videos are also full tutorials, along with a video showing how to change the toggle key or the hot key in the application. If you just can't be bothered with setup, consider becoming a member. I do help people in Discord regardless, but this is the quickest way to get help or assistance whenever you need. You can also call me anytime. You can link your YouTube to Discord and you'll appear at the top of the server here. And that will also help me know who you guys are and, I will, and, and allow me to answer you whenever you call or have a question or anything like that. Like I said, it's not necessary. I'll still help you in the Discord, but if you wanna get on voice calls or want me to create a config for you, that's the best way to do it is to become a member. Also, also, if you you know you want to support the channel, you could do super thanks. That's another way to support the channel. If you want, you know, it really helps me to continue doing this type of content and giving you guys guys configs. You know, as you know, everything I do is free. All the configs are free, and they're always linked in the description of the videos. Everything will be linked in the description for the videos. The website for the program, Discord. The config, it's usually at the top right here. So yeah, without further ado, let me show you what these configs are about in the settings. One thing I want to point out before we jump into this. I do use 800 DPI and a 1,000 polling rate. So this is, this is my recommended setting, but it's not necessary. You can raise this if you need to or low. I don't usually recommend lowering it, but if it feels good to you, go ahead and do that. All right, I do bind space and left control in this config for crouch and jump. So if you want to clear these from the config, you use these for other things, just click the X over here on their, on their, uh, just click the X on the line for left control right here, and you'll see it disappear. Same with space. Now that we're in game, let's go over the settings. I use 1440 resolution. This shouldn't matter. You can use 1080 or 1440. This is what I like to use. So yeah, I'll just go over that real quick. Just, you know, show you that real quick, just in case, you know, you're interested in it. All right, so on the mouse and keyboard tab, this is important. This is one of the most important parts of the config. You want to make sure ignore gamepad input is off. And you want to lock if lock input method is mouse. Lock input method is mouse makes it where you only see mouse and keyboard binds in the bottom, so it's not going to show any any controller binds unless you you go to the menu and you're toggled on, which usually you can just untoggle and then go to the menu. So yeah, these are really important. They're in the mouse and keyboard section. Next most important is right here in the controller section. I mean, this this might even be the most important, but yeah. Uh, right here, we want Builder Pro, build immediately on. This is just in case you're on Builder Pro. We're gonna switch this though, so it's not necessary. But if you wanna, you wanna look at my edit hold time, slide times, all that, that's up to you. That's all preference. The most important settings here are gonna be use advanced options. You wanna cut this on. And that way you can adjust your sensitivities more precisely. All right, and here's your, above this option is your build and edit mode sensitivity. So if your build or edit's too slow, you can raise this up. I use 1.5. For, for this config, this is the linear config. 
and you could change this down here and look input curve. I use a hundred look horizontal and look vertical speed. I turn everything up, everything else all the way down. You want to make sure instant boost when building is on. And I use 86% ADS and look vertical speed. Now I do change these somewhat with the configs because linear isn't as strong as exponential exponential has a bit stronger pull than linear so you may need to this I, I raise this to 86 i think on linear i was using around 75 so it's not that much a difference but the aim assist is stronger on exponential they both feel great though uh i haven't decided which one i prefer yet i like i like more i like to be able to control my movements more than the game controller for me so i'm i'm kind of leaning towards linear but both of them are very good. I like them both. Uh, they both feel very smooth, probably smoother than any config I've made so far. And yeah, but this is another, the, one of the most important settings on this tab is left stick dead zone right here. You want to make sure both of these are at 5%. It's very important. It's very important. All right, here in the combat controls, this is also very important. I had this set to custom. You want to come here to the build mode, and you want to unbind LT and RT on controller. That way, it doesn't interfere with your your builds when you're when you're building while remapped, because if these are usually, as you see, they're usually bound to build modes. Or they're usually bound to uh, ramp and wall, so it'll throw up a ramp and a wall at the same time, and it just it's all funky. It doesn't work properly. So you want to make sure these are cleared. Another fix I've heard is people just use Combat Pro, and for some this works, but I found. Uh, I found that this was a you know pretty easy to do and and work rather well. So you just come here to build controls, clear these, and you'll be good to go. So yeah, you're in game, hit your toggle key again, you know, and you'll see, man, we got flicks, we got everything on linear. It's looking good. There is a toggle on tab for the bag, so it automatically untoggles and you can you can loot. When you go to exit, I know a lot of you like to hit escape, but press tab again. It'll exit and your toggle back on and you'll see you get the rotational from the aim assist when you're moving. All right, there's two ways to activate aim assist with this. The main way is to move. And as you move and aim at this guy, you'll notice that it's bouncing up and down with him. And this also happens when you're just moving your crosshair. You'll notice the slowdown in the in the aim assist bouncing your crosshair up and down a little bit as your crosshair is moving. I think the, the threshold's around like 30% or something like that. I'm not entirely exactly sure, but there, once your crosshair reaches the threshold, you, you get aim assist on that always. But yeah. So yeah, those are two ways to activate the aim assist. You do get aim assist on this while standing still. And I will say, uh, if you're spraying, you're gonna miss a lot of shots, especially at range. So one thing I'll suggest you do when you're playing, you notice when you fire a bullet, you'll see your crosshair raise and shrink because of bullet spread. Tap firing is a lot more accurate than just spraying, even if the, you don't let the crosshair shrink. Tap firing is gonna be 10 times more accurate. So like the slower you go, the more accurate it's gonna be, but you can even spray it a little faster and it's gonna be more accurate than just spraying like this. As you can see, I'm still hitting bullets, but, and you will, like, it, cl the closer you can spray, you know, if they're, if they're real close, you're not going to miss too much. But once they get far away, like up there, you're going to be missing more. So if you watch when I spray at this guy, still hitting shots because of aim assist, but you see how many are close and actually going in between them and stuff. But yeah, if you tap fire, usually you'll get a little bit more accuracy out of it. All right, so the other config, there's seamless transition between these configs because they're so similar. There's only minute changes in the config. If you've been a part of the community, you know that I like I like simple stuff, especially when it comes to Fortnite. I like to control most of the things myself. If you want to add extra stuff to this, make sure you join the Discord. We got a, a pretty active Fortnite community. So if you have any questions, feel free to stop by. You want to add something to your config and you don't know how to do it, feel free to stop by, ask questions, man. Or become a member and I'll just do it for you. <laughs> so yeah. All right, we're going to change configs to exponential, and I'm going to show you all you need to do for this. I really need to declutter. So exponential right here. I'm going to apply this config. I'm going to go in game, and the only thing we're going to need to change in here in the settings, we're going to go to controller. 
And then the look input curve, we're already on linear. It's very important. We're gonna go to exponential. So if you're using a linear config, you wanna be on linear, use an exponential, you wanna be on exponential. And then you're gonna apply it down here and adjust your sensitivities if needed. Go in and test it. And you, again, your sensitivities are right here. This is when you aim, ADS. This is when you aim. And this is when you're hip fire. Look horizontal and look vertical. So we come back in, press our key again. It's the same thing. This one's got, you can flick with this. You can turn really fast, flick. And like I said, the aim assist tends to be a little stronger with this, especially when you're crosshair moving and you're standing still. So if you shoot a lot while standing still, exponential might be the play for you. It, acts, it, it activates rotational, it seems like, more. When you're just standing still, you see my crosshair just bobbing up and down with a guy. I'm just moving left and right. But yeah, exponential seems to be a little bit stronger. So if you like it stronger, man, this is what you want to do. Now, now, if every all else fails, I'm going to show you a very easy way. Like, if it still feels slow, it's not fast enough for you, all else fails, all you have to do is come to, come to Rewise. Click the Xbox logo and turn virtual performance to normal. This will speed up the, the config in game because having it on high performance does slow it down a little bit. I like using high performance myself, but it's really all preference. If you, you, know, you need faster sensitivity, that's a really easy way to do it. And you can always raise DPI or come to the mouse properties here. You can always raise your DPI. You can always raise your sensitivity in game. And I suggest doing that first. Or you can come to the mouse properties here and there's an X and Y sensitivity right here. So you, you could change this value. I had this set to the same value as my DPI. It just felt amazing, so I left it there. And yeah, those are the two configs, man. Uh, so we're back to making Fortnite videos, and I, I definitely haven't forgot about you guys. I've really been wanting to give this stuff out to you. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you, everybody, man. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you find this helpful, you enjoy the videos. It really helps a lot, man. I appreciate everybody watching. Have a good day. Later.